fantastic atmosphere here tonight in Turkey. This promises to be an absolute cracker. A lot of tough boys coming out of South Africa, as we know. Over the years, we've seen them. And this is uh, Aiden chance to put himself on the map proper. And I'm sure this will be his toughest fight today. So wherever you're joining us from, from around the world, welcome. You're live with us from Turkey. This is second out. And this is a WBC international welterweight title between Lucky Law from South Africa and Silkuk Aydin Mini Tyson from Turkey. This will be over 12 rounds, of course. And I'm pretty confident to say we'll be off uh, and flying from the very start. Selkuk Aydin, uh, not one to hang about. A member of Deftasi, Jesse no, Roman, no, not a big punch, OK? Lucky, listen me, OK? That's it, OK? Fight oh, advantage here, you can say to Law. OK. No love lost between these two, that's for sure. And I really do feel this is going to be a big test for Aydin. A fantastic following for him here, the home crowd. Big star over here in Turkey. And this is the one that will put him on the map proper. Corner, corner, your corner before the ring of the bell. Stay your corner, OK? Here we go, round one. Box. Straight away, march to the middle of the ring, sent in a big right hand. Stop! Stop, time, time. Defending with close gloves, I'm not sure that's a good idea. These are good punches coming in from Aiden, from uh, Lul, I beg your pardon. And he's trying to march his man in to get him close, send him his punches. These are good punches through the defense of Lul.
Well, the more work suddenly being done by Lou. Canadian having his moments once he closes his man out. Good solid jab from Lou. Last ten, first round. Well, I've got to tell you, I edged that one for Lugo. But having said that, we're in Aiden's hometown, so uh, who knows? Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, the better work done. Yes, he had his moments, Aiden. But Lou did a good job in keeping him on the end of that jab. And I'm sure Lou will be there all night long with that jab. And that's why I don't think it's a good idea, this close defence. Hands up, trying to march through them, because there comes a time where that really doesn't work anymore. These punches do get through. Again, Lou using that jab, holding him at bay, throwing over the right hand. Aiden can't afford to stand off with that. Closing his man up now against the ropes. This is where he has most success and always does. But Lou's going to be there. This is going to be a tough test for Aiden. And these South Africans are tough. We'll see what happens when he takes one full on the chin from Aiden. But I do think he's got his hands full here tonight. Fighting well when he's back to the ropes. Picking his punches. My concern was on the last time out against Bakirov that uh, when these punches didn't have the desired effect from Aiden, he just ran out of ideas. He's used to knocking people over, and when they don't go, it was a question of what he does next. It started off hard and strong this fight. Very, very good first round, and we're straight on with the action in the second round. This is live from Turkey at the moment. And welcome to you, whether you're joining us from around the world. You're with Seconds Out and Jalipo. Well, this is the second round of the WBC International Welterweight title. Lucky Lul against Selkuk, Mini Tyson Aiden, Aiden in the black shorts. Punches here, more punches coming from Law. The only success he's having is up against the ropes, Aiden. But when he goes to the centre of the ring, he's completely outboxed. No question about that in my mind. 
And like I said, I just have a feeling that when the punches don't have the desired effect, he's used to locking people down, he's running out of ideas. Now he's got him against the rope, and as you can see, Lewis returning the compliment. And my guess is that the longer this fight goes, the, the, the more it swings into the favour of Law. I really do. Do you want to score? I mean, if the judges are looking at the aggression, then the out and out aggression obviously is from Aiden, but that's only when he gets him backed up against the ropes. Close round to call. I'm going to give it even. I mean, not a, not a punch being thrown yet from Aiden in this round. Everything's coming from Lul. I'll take take it to the centre of the ring. If you can hold the centre of that ring, he's most definitely out outboxing Aiden. is where he generally has his success but you again Lul seems to fight his way off the ropes at some point <laughs> big efforts put in by Aiden when he when he puts up these attacks but again Lul off the ropes and controlling matters This is Lord's round so far. Again, the better work coming from him, the more punches coming from him. Aiden has to get through with these punches and make them tell. He's got to have some effect on Lewis. The amount of effort he puts in with those punches will also have an effect on himself. And if they're not having the desired effect, as I said, I, I think that uh, he runs out of ideas. Shots coming in from Law. And I've got to tell you, I, I, I'm going to have to give this round to Law. I'm not sure the home fans will agree with me, but. To me, that was Law's round, and I've got him two rounds up at this stage. And the longer this fight goes, I see it keeping the law. And the interesting thing is that when he's backed up against the ropes, even though Aiden will put up the big assault at that point, Law finds a way to turn it round. Unless Aiden lands a clean shot, I really see this being a, a bit of a problem for him as time goes on. He holds the centre of that ring. He's got to be scoring the points. 
These are good shots coming in. Keeping his man under control. Aiden has to rush him to get him into the ropes to do his work, but he's not having the effect that he would hope for once he does close him up. And what's more, Lulz turning that round even when he is against the ropes. He takes the onward assault and then turns it around. Good shots, good straight one-twos. Simple stuff, effective stuff. And it's coming from Lulz at this stage. These one-off uh, attacks uh, don't win a fight, as far as I'm concerned. And for the majority of the round, he's being outboxed, Aiden. Certainly a number of punches thrown, no question. comes <laughs> lovely left upper cut there from Lewell he's got to hold the centre of that ring and do his work because he does it well. close it is subjective at times you would say well he's the, the more of the aggressor but I, as far as I'm concerned the more punches being thrown the better quality of the work still coming from Lou and if I was judging this again I would give that I'd give that round to Lou Aiden sets up no more than maybe three attacks during the course of a round and that in itself doesn't win the fight, as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't win the round. He's, back, he's backing his guy up against the ropes, puts up his assault, goes back to a defensive pose, and Lou was then returning the compliment, turning himself, coming back out centre ring. Having said that, the uh, noise coming from the crowd would lead you to believe that their man is delivering the better shots, etc. And whether that sways the judges, I don't know. But this is going to be a tough fight for Aiden. And I do believe that the longer this bout goes on, the harder it's going to become for him. We're in round five. We're live from Turkey. And this is for the WBC welterweight international title. Good change of shots again. From Lowell. Turning his knuckles over, going from a lead right to a left up, got nice combination of shots, picking, picking his target and finding it. And even tight against the ropes, he's still finding the target. Good shots, these from Lou again. No question about the work rate here being uh, low.
slightly close for this round. Difficult one to call. Finishing around, Shrum Selkirk. That's probably Selkirk's best round so far. Better head movement from Selkirk. Finding the gaps now on Lul. Good body shot. Came upstairs to the head and underneath for the uppercut. And I want to give that rein to Aiden. I'm interested to see though how he copes with these rounds. I don't have the stats in front of me, but I'm not sure he's ever been 12 rounds before, Aiden. We're just coming up now to the sixth round. I'm sure this will start to swing now in the favour of Lawl. If he can maintain this, it's going to go his way. It's got to go his way. The longer Law can hold the centre of that ring, the more points he can score. Starting to use his feet more now. He doesn't want to get caught on those ropes. And I'm sure he wants to take Aiden into the uh, ladder rounds, that's for sure. So I think the more powerful work coming from Aiden, that's to be expected. A good round for him again here, keeping and maintaining the pressure on. close at the moment. I've actually got Lucky Law one round ahead. I don't know if you agree with me at home. But surprisingly, he's uh, come on strong in the last two rounds, Aiden. And I wasn't expecting that. I thought as the longer this fight would go on, the more in favour it would turn for Law.
So that was the halfway stage. Here we go, round seven. Complaint there from Aiden that his uh, opponent wasn't up and ready, as should be the case. man up, putting up his assault and then moving away, which is a, a much better ploy, because when he was staying in there, the compliment was being returned. Better work from Aiden, that being the case. Law still there, still holding the ring. But the strength seeming to come through now from Aiden. He's backing up Lula a little bit more often. These are good shots coming through the middle of the glass from Aiden, and again. Watch your head! Watch your head! Well, if you're just joining us, we're... Uh, Live from Turkey, and this is the WBC welterweight international title between Lucky Luel and Selkuk Aydin. This is turning into a fantastic fight at the moment. The boxer against the fighter. Shot there from Aiden. Some of his shots are getting through now, but a bit more frequency. Again, as far as the number of shots are concerned, Lewis still in front with the work rate. So it's all to play for. We need to see Lowell come on a bit stronger now. Big efforts from Aiden in that round. And they were beginning to get through with more regularity. Second out. Second out, please. Second out, I'm not 
sure he's being bothered with anything thrown at him from Lul. Caught by two shots there, Aiden, on the way in, but the biggest shot came from him through the middle, the right hand. This is a hard, hard fight. Neither of these two want to give an inch, that's for sure. Bigger punches clearly coming in from Aiden. I think at some point one of those is going to tell. Good accurate work there from Lul. stronger as this has gone on the opposite to what I expected I've got to give that round to him as well so he's edging ahead and my scorecard is edging ahead I'm putting him around in front of this stage so Lul's really got to pick his game up here And he went quiet from the fourth round on to the beginning of the fifth round. The question is if Aiden can sustain this pace. I have to say, he surprised me at this point. Slightly better start to this round from Lua. So far this round from Lul. Aiden now backing him up again. Good shots again from Lul. Not a great deal of weight behind him, but he's still picking his uh, targets and he's scoring. Chopping right hand from Aiden. Better round this so far for Lou. 
But again, Aiden launches into a big attack. Losing his head a bit more now, he sets up his attack and then moves away rather than staying in there. Good uppercut from Aiden. Well, I think they both had their fair share of that round. Certainly the first half of it was Lul for me. Uh, I think Aiden came on stronger at the end. Again, difficult one to score. Don't like giving rounds even, but I think I'm uh, tended to do that with that particular round. Close. I've got uh, Aiden one round up at the moment. Law <laughs> needs to push the pace now. He really does. have gone very much on the defensive. Good jab there by Aiden. This really is a close, close match, this. in the round, I'm sure. thing to do at this level. stage Aiden he's uh, he's easing himself in front of this point
I've got him two rounds up now, and there's only two rounds to go. Well, we're going into the 11th. I don't think uh, there will be under any illusion. He's got to go out there and he's got to really push this now. Better start to the round from Lowe. Right again in this round, but the bigger punches coming in from Aiden. Lowell's edging this round at the moment. Aiden needs a couple of big assaults here. Take the judges' eyes. Certainly the better work and work rate coming from Lowell. Assault by Aiden there. Brown are really not happy with the fact he slipped again on the water, but a big assault coming up again. Referee must look at this closely. Nothing coming back from Law. Nothing coming back. I think another big assault like that from Aiden and the referee will be looking very close to stepping in. Last ten. Well, the ref stopped that, ring out, that, that round early. That was the last ten we heard. We thought that was the end of the round. Ten seconds yet to go, but nevertheless they went back to their corners. Got to give that round to Aiden. I have him three rounds in front at this stage. A huge attack, huge assault by Aiden. And I have to take my hat off to him. I really didn't expect him to still have this sort of power at this stage of the match, that's for sure.
Huge amount of punches unanswered. three rounds, the only way Lil's going to do anything here is by stoppage, I really don't see that happening at the moment hey, you're not happy with the time out again for cleaning up this water well here we go it's the last three minutes been a great effort by Aiden. Nothing much left in these punches from Lul at the moment. And I'm sure, I'm sure Aiden's going to look to take a little out of there for his home crowd. If he gets the opportunity, he'll take it. Here we go, big attack coming up. Certainly this one's going to put Aiden on the map. Are well, we going to have a grandstand finish here from Selkirk Aiden? The mini Tyson. Huge. Support. Lua looks like a beaten man, I have to say, at this stage. But this has been a great, great effort by Aiden. He surprised me.
Sonucu merakla bekliyoruz. Selçuk Aydın'ın bu karşılaşması 12 rahat sürdü. Son sözü tabii ki hakemler verecek. Kırmızı köşe. Naki, Levere ve... Well, got out 117, 114. To Selkirk many times today, then let's uh, see if we can hear anything like that. But I have to say that was a, that was a, a great performance. Maintains his unbeaten record. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's now the WBC International Welterweight title holder. Well, I'm sure we'll have the official decision in just a second. surprised me it went the distance and I truly believe that the further that fight well it would go into a Lul's Lul's pocket but it didn't and it was Aiden who's come through and he's come through strong and I'm sure he puts himself on the map with that win